Go green. The rains had begun a few days ago bringing relief from the sweltering heat of the summer, and the earth smelled heavenly. Wild plants and grass had begun sprouting from the earth that was bare a week ago, and the clean leaves on trees once again gleamed with freshness. Balu sat with his father on the veranda, eating hot pakoras that mother was making in the kitchen. Balu, shall we plant a garden in our backyard? Father said looking at the grass that had emerged between the stones of the boundary wall. I think it'll be a good idea. Don't you agree? Why not, Dad? Balu said excitedly. It'll be fun and we'll get fresh vegetables to eat. Father and son soon set about the task. The first step was to prepare the soil for planting. We, I'll dig up about a feet of the soil, son. Father told him. And then we'll mix manure and leaf compost in it. Balu had leaf compost ready in the pit at the corner. They had dug it in autumn. Father tilled the soil while Balu dug up the compost and spread it around the tilled soil. Manure was bought from a dairy nearby, ten bags full of it. Then came the mixing part, quite a laborious one because it had to be done by hand, breaking clumps of moist soil and mixing it well with the biofertilizers thoroughly. This took all day. They let soil lay open for a week to let it absorb more water. The next Sunday, father bought certified seeds from the market and the planting began. Meat rows were drawing using a hoe and seeds were put in only about two inches deep and covered with soil. There was no need for watering as the soil was quite moist. Then the entire family waited for the plants to emerge. It was on the fifth day that Balu spotted tiny shoots laying a green carpet in the backyard. Dad, Dad! He shouted. The plants have come up. It was cause for a family celebration. Now came the task of protecting the tender shoots from the marauding birds. Wooden stilts about 4 inch high were erected at vital points and a fine wire mesh was spread on these to cover, but not smother the infant plants. It was another 10 days before the mesh was taken off and the plants now began growing rapidly. It was August and the vegetable patch bloomed with a variety of green veggies. Mother had to simply step into the garden and pick the vegetable that she planned to cook. She was happy. The kids developed a new taste for the greenies which they had avoided earlier. The patch produced such a bounty of veggies that they had to ply their neighbors with them. Only the vegetable vendor in the locality was left wondering why his clientele had dipped suddenly. The kitchen garden had come to stay in the household, perhaps for decades to come. A little effort in Balu's family and their neighbors not only enjoyed an endless supply of fresh vegetables, but the bare earth in the backyard was now a medley of colors. Green, purple, yellow, white and orange. The soil was constantly nourished by decaying plants and leaves, and a sense of well-being prevailed in the house. This is the magic of rearing plants. This is the magic that Mother Nature gives to all who cherish the color green.